Physicists have finally found a way to test whether the vacuum is actually made of particles. This is called the Anru effect, and observing it would be a deep insight into particle physics and relativity. I myself don't believe this effect is real, which for most physicists amount to blasphemy, so I certainly hope it'll be tested soon. Let's have a look. Vacuum. What is it? In quantum physics, vacuum is the absence of particles, but that's only true for some observers, namely those who move at a constant velocity. As Per Anru pointed out in the 1970s, if you don't move at a constant velocity, then the vacuum seems to fall apart into particles. Technically, the reason for this is that what we mean by a particle depends on how we move. That is, the notion of a particle itself becomes relative in Einstein's relativity. Where does the energy for these particles come from? Well, to accelerate, you need energy. So there always must be an energy source. But the consequence is that an accelerated observer of any soul should witness particles at a temperature that's related to the acceleration. The higher the acceleration, the higher the temperature, that is the average energy of the particles. This is now called the Unruh effect. And if you ever feel like your life's falling apart, maybe you're just accelerating. I believe this effect doesn't exist because I think a particle either is a particle or not. Its existence doesn't depend on how some observer moves. Most physicists, however, think that this effect is real, mostly because it can be used to explain why black holes evaporate. You see, you can say that if an observer hovers near a black hole horizon, not directly at the horizon, but nearby, then they must be accelerated, otherwise they'd fall in. But according to the Unruh effect, that means the observer sees particles. So, the black hole radiates. That sounds superficially plausible, but I'd argue that these two effects are actually mathematically very different. In any case, though, I've been waiting for 30 years to see an experimental test of the Unruh effect. Because while it's in practice impossible to measure whether black holes emit radiation, the temperature is far too low to be measurable, it should be possible to measure the Unruh radiation. The problem is that the temperature of this Unruh radiation is very low. There have been many proposals for how to test it, but it's remained out of experimental reach. And this finally brings me to the new paper. The authors of the new paper propose to use two layers of superconducting material separated by insulators in a ring, which you see here in this figure. In these rings, they have quasi-particles called fluxons and antifluxons. Quasi-particles are basically collective motion, similar to waves in water. These quasi-particles are coupled across the two layers. Then they put a current on each of the superconductors, and that puts the quasi-particles into a circular motion. Round and round they go, both together. The larger the current, the higher the acceleration. However, this doesn't continue forever. Eventually, this pair breaks, and this leads to a measurable jump in the voltage. They calculate that the current at which the pair breaks depends on the charge fluctuations in the superconductors, and these fluctuations are what they interpret as the Anru particles. So the logic is that they infer the presence of the Anru particles from how easily the quasi-particle pair breaks, which they can measure. The nice thing about this is that the acceleration one can reach this way is remarkably high simply because the rings are so small. The problem with this idea is that, well, it doesn't happen in vacuum. This is clearly an in-medium effect, whereas the under effect is all about the properties of the vacuum. At best, I think one could interpret such an effect as an analogy to the under effect. At least I wouldn't accept it as proof for the Unruh effect. So far, the best idea to test this effect that I know of comes from trying to accelerate electrons with a very big laser. However, the currently existing lasers aren't strong enough to accelerate the electrons enough for this to be measurable. I give this paper a 2 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. I think it's a good proposal and an important topic, 
but they should have stressed their shortcomings with the interpretation more clearly. You're not going to test the vacuum effect in medium. If you ever need to explain the under effect at a party, just say vacuum isn't empty, it's observer dependent, and then watch everyone accelerate away from you. Do you know the joke about the two guys running from a bear? Do you really think we'll outrun the bear, says one of them? And the other one says, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. That's how I think about internet safety. I don't have to outsmart hackers. I just have to be a little more difficult target than most of you. And that's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. And it also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It doesn't just protect your privacy, it also makes your life easier. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations. For example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years because they don't comply with European privacy regulations. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States problem solved. NordVPN is a straightforward app that does what it's supposed to. It keeps you safe online. I recommend you give it a try yourself. And if you do, make sure to use my link nordvpn.com slash Zabina or use the code Zabina to get a special offer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.